I know that Traxxas fans have been patiently, well, maybe impatiently waiting for a classic truck body for their TRX 4M. Well, I'm excited to tell you guys they finally released one and it's pretty awesome. It's a licensed Chevrolet K10 hard body high trail edition. I'll link to it in the video description below, but you guys need to know that they made more changes than just the body swap. We're gonna go over those details today. I'm gonna show you how it drives. Like the other TRX 4Ms, this is a ready to run. It comes out of the box just as you see it. It's available in a blue and red color. It comes with the radio system, electronics, battery, charger, instruction manual, and it even includes a drop down trailer hitch so you could use their optional trailer. Look at that, you get a free poster too. Check out this K10 body guys. The weight was worth it. A lightweight hard body and it doesn't have any body clips. It uses their underclip system. The body's molded in the bright blue ABS plastic. Love all the chrome details, bumper, grill, headlight bezels, wipers, mirrors, chrome roll bar. I feel like the clear lenses in the lights on top and chrome bumper out back and plenty of chrome trim. There's trim around the wheel wells and then even the body panels all the way out to the back tailgate where they have the Chevy emblem, transparent red tail lights, and then the headlights are clear because there are LED lights already fitted from the factory. It's got the Cheyenne decals on the fenders. Let's take a close look now at the wheels. They're chrome eight hole mag wheels wrapped in Mickey Thompson Baja Pro XS tires and it's a larger diameter tire than a standard TRX 4M. So you gotta get some ground clearance out of these and they've got a nice soft tread to them to help you just tear up the mud or whatever terrain that you're on. Let's pop the body off and there's a look at the underside, the LED lights and the clip system. And here is the TRX4 chassis that we're kind of used to seeing. There's some changes here that we have to go over. Obviously these bumpers are new for the truck. And then moving on to the chassis, this is actually different. This is an extended frame rail setup for the new dimensions of this truck, but it still has the same skid and battery tray. And the change for the high trail edition actually comes in the shock towers. As you can see, these towers are much lower than the original tower, and that's what helps give it its lift, along with the longer chassis and then longer suspension links in the rear, and then a longer center drive shaft. But the rest of the chassis is pretty much the same. Four links set up in the front, the oil filled GTS shocks. And then for the drivetrain, we've got the center mounted transmission setup, plastic gears on the inside, and they're still using the bushings and then slider drive shafts down to the front and rear axles. The front and rear axles do have chrome diff covers on them now. We've got the metal universals on the outside, bushings, the stout knuckles, and then the center mounted steering link, which gives you up to 45 degrees of steering. And then for the electronics, it has their heavy duty micro steering servo with the metal output gear, the Titan 180 87 turn motor, and then the two in one ECM 2.5 receiver speed controller combo. The Traxxas 2S LiPo battery comes with it, and to turn it on and off, you simply insert the plug into the speed controller. The radio system is the TQ version, and that, guys, is everything you need to know about the new K10 High Trail Edition. Let's head outside and get this truck dirty.
First up, I'm really happy that Traxxas gave us a new variation of the TRX 4M and not just the body swap. The High Trail Edition is really popular in 110 scale form, and I think it's going to be popular here as well. The truck still handles very good, even though it's a bit higher. It should have a higher CG and maybe want to tip a bit more because it has the longer wheelbase. I think it evens things out a little bit. Still makes it handle well, and it's a lot of fun to drive. I think people are going to like the tires on this. They grip well. They give it a little bit of extra ground clearance, and I think guys that are building other rigs elsewhere are going to like these tires. The truck has a lot of steering angles, so even with that longer wheelbase, you don't notice it diminish that much. It still steers similar to the standard TRX 4M, but overall, it's a really cool package. I like that it has the LED lights and the headlights now. They did a nice job with this hard body. Very cool that they gave us the light bar in this kit. I still need to get it for my 10 scale, but overall, it's just such a fun rig. I drove it for the action shots that you guys saw, and then I actually took it with me when I was traveling and took it out for some fun while I was on the road. So that gives you an idea like how much fun this thing is. Like, you can just throw it in your backpack, go anywhere, and have a blast crawling. I can't imagine this being the last Traxxas TRX 4M High Trail Edition based on all the other things that they're doing with their other TRX 4s. So if they were to come out with another M High Trail Edition, what body would you like to see on it next? Let me know in the comments section below.